One thing that I really like about Tower Blitz is how unique each of the towers are. Electricizers fire plasma bolts, light beamers shoot beams of light, and a max level recon base harnesses alien technology. But one of the most powerful of all of the towers is some guy with a bugle. But wait a minute, how does it make sense that some guy with a degree in fine arts is able to make towers see farther and shoot faster? Don't worry about the logic behind it. All you need to know is the basics behind how to use Bugler. God, I'm good at writing. I should become an author, honestly. Okay, enough hoopla. The first thing you need to know is when to place one down. You shouldn't worry about Bugler in early game because of how few towers there are. It's better to place other towers than buffing the weak towers that are already there. Bugler isn't worth getting until mid-game where it becomes incredibly useful. Now you have towers to buff and cash to buy upgrades. When placing buglers, try to place it in a spot where you can cover as many towers as possible. You might have to place multiple buglers down to get full coverage, but it's fine if one or two towers are outside of your bugler's range. You'll want to prioritize towers with high range and cooldown because bugler buffs are percentage based, which means the higher the base range and cooldown, the higher the buffs are. It's percentages, you know, like from school. You've been to a school, right? Uh, never mind. In order to take full advantage of Bugler, get at least one of them on Tom Path and another on Bottom Path. You'll want to do this because the two paths have different buffs, and doing this also gives you access to all of Bugler's abilities. Hey, speaking of which, Bugler has a few abilities, most notable are the Snare Drums. Snare Drums are really good if you need more DPS in a pinch. You unlock them on the third level of Tom Path, but they come with a global cooldown. Max level of Tom Path removes the global cooldown, making it a good choice if you need to chain Snare Drums. If that's what you're trying to do, make sure to bring businessmen for the ability cooldown reduction. This is only like, what, the fourth video in a row where I mention it? Anyways. His other two abilities aren't really notable. If it weren't for the Overlord Amplifiers, the targeting ability would be useless. Oh, by the way, you probably heard this in every extra match you've ever played, but remember to target the Overlord Amplifiers with Bottom Path Bugler. As for the Directed Power ability, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have. I just don't think I've ever won a match specifically because I had one tower with 30% more fire rate. At least it stacks with snare drums. The last thing to go over is what towers work well with Bugler. Well, in Bugler's case it's more like what doesn't work well with it. Towers that don't directly attack, like Recon Base, Market, and Bugler don't benefit from any of the buffs. But wait, don't Buglers give each other increased range? No. I know it looks like it, but it doesn't actually, see? This is a weird bug you have to keep in mind whenever you use Bugler. Just don't be surprised if you place a tower at the edge of a Bugler's range and it doesn't give any buffs. Oh, and one last thing, Bugler buffs do not stack. Just thought I should make that clear in case someone asks. To wrap things up, let's take a look at the combo of the week. Take it away, M. Thanks, nerd. Some guy on the internet said, Not a fact, Mechanic Shield actually does protect from the more easier bosses. For context, this was left under my tier list video where I said the mechanic shield bubble did nothing, which is not true. The bubble does block against stuns from Voltmaster and Bullmaster, but the problem is that's it. Bullmaster's stun range is super short anyways, and you never see mechanics in normal mode, so yeah, that's why I said that it does nothing. So you're technically right, but I've just never won a game in normal mode where I had a mechanic to prevent all my slingers from being stunned. That's it for today, gamers. I'm going to try aiming for weekly uploads going forward, but, you know, <laughs> no promises. Okay, love you, bye.